Welcome to the portal training video for basic users. In this video, we will be reviewing how to manage your personal voicemail settings, answering rules, phones, custom buttons on your desk phone, or even review the call history and play back your calls. Let's begin with how to get there. Here is a link to the portal. When you first log in, you'll be viewing the Home tab. This gives you a quick summary of your activity and setup. You may access your voicemail messages here. Pressing the play button will play the recorded message. Additionally, there are some other options, including downloading the recording, reading a text transcription, or simply deleting the message. Along the right side of the page, you can switch between different answering rules or preview which phones are ringing when you are called. Along the bottom, you have a brief overview of your history. Now that we've covered the home page, now is a great time to get into some of the other features. To review all of your voicemails and voicemail settings, click the Messages tab. Here you will find the messages that were displayed on the home page. Choosing the menu labeled as New gives you the option to jump between New, Saved, and Deleted Messages. Clicking on the Settings tab will bring you to your voicemail options. There are many settings on this page, however only two of these are commonly updated. What callers hear when they reach your voicemail, which is also known as your greeting, and what happens to those voicemails when the caller hangs up, which would be your notification settings. Selecting Manage will bring up your list of voicemail greetings. You can update an existing one or click Add Greeting to make a new one. Pick how you wish to create the greeting. Text to speech, uploading a recording, or have the system call you to record. Hello, and welcome to our video. And don't forget to press Save when you are done. To choose which greeting is played, select the one that you want from the menu and press Save. Finally, on this page, you have various options under Notifications. This controls what happens when someone leaves you a message. The Contacts tab. Here you can view your organization's contacts or manage your own. Clicking the phone number or extension from this list will initiate a call with that number from the portal. You may also view your contacts in the bottom right corner of the screen anywhere in the portal. Answering Rules. Answering Rules is a powerful feature that controls the behavior of your inbound calls. The most common reason to access this section of the portal is to connect your mobile phone to your office calls. Warning, changes in this section can cause your phone not to ring. You may enter your phone number in this box here. We recommend turning on answer confirmation for off-net numbers. If enabled, when an office call comes into your extension, the system requires you to press 1 to accept the call if you answer on your mobile phone. Press 1 to accept this call. This prevents the call from accidentally reaching the voicemail of your mobile phone. Timeframes. Timeframes are where you can customize when calls can reach your extension or mobile device. This is used in conjunction with your answering rules. So if you add a new time frame, don't forget to create an answering rule link to it. Your answering rules will go from top to bottom until a time frame is applied. But if none apply, the default will be used. Look out for the active label for which one is active. The Phones tab allows you to easily customize buttons on your desk phone. Select the gear icon to display the button options. Choose the button you want to update on the image of the phone or along the right side column. The most common option is the user BLF option. This makes the most of your phone features, including call pickup and phone status monitoring, so you know if your colleague is getting a call or if they are on the phone. There are other types of buttons that can be configured as well, but for more information, refer to our button builder guide. To save your changes, click the up arrow next to Save and choose Save and Resync. This will automatically push the changes we've just made to your phone. The Call History tab displays all calls that you've made and received. The Filter button allows you to search and view call history from specific dates or conditions. You may listen or download the call if your company has purchased a call recording license. If you're looking to set a new password or a new voicemail pin, click your name and choose Profile. Last but not least, if you ever have a quick question, 
Clicking the Help button will bring you to our help site, where you can quickly search for anything related to your phone system. This site includes the most common requests and has detailed instructions to help you make the best of your Yovu phone system. You are now ready to use the portal as a basic user. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Reach out to support at my.yovu.ca if you have any more questions.